Okay. Opposite. So, there are five sampling techniques. Um, the first sampling technique is called, here, I might want to put today's date on this, 922. Um, the first sampling technique is called stratified. That's when you take members from each segment of the population, and they're divided into strata, or subsets, based on gender, age, ethnicity, etc., and then a sample is selected. For example, if I was asking, if I was trying to figure out this question when I was asking the school, do you drive to work in, uh, to, or do you drive to school? And then I asked 10 seniors. What do you think? Good study? Probably not because most seniors have their licenses and probably do drive. Right. So and, and who definitely doesn't have their licenses? Like sixth graders. Sixth graders. And if I'm talking about the whole school as my population, I probably should include them, right? So maybe I would, strat, uh, maybe I would divide them into the strata by grade. And then I would ask uh, 10 random kids from each grade. Now, if I ask 10 random kids from the senior class, I'd probably get a pretty good estimate of how many in the senior class drive, but not if I'm talking about the school. There are situations where people have done really bad sampling techniques, which I'll show you on Monday. We're going to do a whole bunch of examples. I've got like a whole bunch of case studies that we can look at and see ones that went bad, um, where they asked the wrong people, essentially. Like, for example, um, uh, asking only rich people something instead of poor people, um, which, you know, is a big deal. Um, which is kind of how a lot of big, huge things in politics have happened. Uh, next one, when a population is naturally split into groups and then you pick one or a few of the groups to evaluate, this is called a cluster sampling. Um, this is usually by location. Okay, so this would be like, Let's suppose I want to know how many mushrooms are in a forest. It would be a really stupid idea to walk through the forest and try to count every single mushroom. It would also be kind of dumb to just go up to like the first few feet of forest, count how many mushrooms are there, and call that good. Why would that be dumb? Could be a dead part of the forest. Could be a dead part of the forest. So uh, an example of this would to split the forest into grids. and then select like five grids to search. So if I literally was like, okay, so this forest is this many acres by this many acres, and I said my grid is going to be a fourth of an acre by a fourth of an acre, like a little square, and in this thing here, we've got like 4,800 now sections that I could look at, and I'm going to pick a section here and a section there and a section here and a section here and a section there. That's a cluster. Grabbing, and you look at everything in that cluster. Another example of that would be like if we wanted to know how the school felt about something, and they were like, okay, we're going to ask everybody in Mrs. Sheck's room right now and uh, Mrs. Steele's room. And that would be cluster. We're taking two things that are kind of nat like two natural groups that are already there and just asking everybody in those places. All right, next one. Each number of, member of the population is given a number. Numbers are chosen at intervals. Intervals. Um, this is called systematic. Um, sometimes they'll do this with like um, drunk driving for pullovers, for checks. They'll be like, every 30th car we see, we're in a pullover. <laughs> so 
So you pick a number. We'll talk to every fifth person. We'll talk to every, you know, 20th person that we see walk down the hallway. We're going to ask that person who it is or what they think. Um, next is, um, it's called convenience sampling. You ask who's available, which is usually a bad technique. Uh, an example of this would just be asking your friends to participate in a study. Why do you think it'd be a bad idea just to ask your friends? Like, if you were like, hey, I want to know um, whether people in this community are more liberal or conservative. I'm going to go ask my friends what they are. Why is that a bad sample? Mm. Bias, bias is defined as the way you ask a question. I understand what you're saying, though. It's a sampling error, to for sure. But why is it a sampling error? Why would it be a problem? They like, might be more likely to like give a joke answer or like say like why more or something like that. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily it. And like, let's suppose you get the real data. Like, you really know whether they're liberal or conservative. Would that be a good? Right, and and frankly, usually people tend to hang out with people yeah. that are similar to them. Right, I mean, I'm sure you can think of a friend group in this school that is very conservative in nature and politics, and I'm sure you can think of a group in here in this school that is probably very liberal with their. You know, imagine if I only asked that liberal group or I only asked that conservative group, they'd all probably give me the same answer. And not because they're like trying to ruin my study, but because that's how they feel and they're all clustered together because that's who they are. Um, it'd be something like going outside of a Republican national convention and being like, who are you going to vote for for president? Uh, I bet they're going to vote for Republican, you know, and like that's a convenient sample. Um, so just doing what's easy. Um, and then the last one is called a simple random sample. Um, that's like what I do on my calculator. You assign everybody a number. Everybody gets a number, and then you use some sort of randomization technique, which is not truly random, but pretty close, um, <coughs> to pick numbers. Can you understand that different situations would really require kind of different things to do? Yeah. <coughs> In fact, some of them would be pretty impossible. Um, and some of them would be very, very simple to do in certain situations. Okay. Um, while we're at it, maybe we should go into the conversation about sampling errors and bias, because you guys seem to be kind of interested in that. Do you feel that way? Kind of interested? Okay. Okay.